factory, they had a very small turbocharger, no intercooler, so when the turbo gets hot... Hey, this is Mad Matt from Budget Boosting. Today I'm going to talk about changing the brake master cylinder. Master cylinders are a little bit different on every car, but the concept concept's pretty much the same. Removing the old master cylinder, pre-lubing it with a little bit of fluid, Basically loosening the, uh, the lines going to your front and rear brakes, loosening them up, re-putting them back in, just basically reverse the process of removal and install them. So I'm going to start here. This is the brand new Brake Master Cylinder for a 1974 Nissan Datsun 260Z. And there's the old one. You can see it's due for a change. It's pretty nasty. That's a nasty Brake Master Cylinder. Okay. I'm going to set this over here. First thing is I like to loosen these retaining bolts right here. So I'm going to loosen these retaining bolts just enough to where it makes it a little easier to take off those brake line bolts because they're the hardest things to take off the brake lines because they like to hold on for dear life. So I'm going to loosen these quite a few turns but not all the way until I get the brake lines off. Now that I got those loosened a bit, I'm going to go remove the brake lines. And since you're kind of on top of the brake master cylinder, you might get confused of which way is loosening or tightening. But think of yourself under it. If you snap your fingers to the left, that shows the direction that you're loosening. If you snap your fingers to the right, it shows you the direction of tightening. So lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Just an easy way to remember, even if you're upside down, because you start getting confused when you're in different positions loosening stuff up. So, the lefty-loosey thing, but think of it like this, this way. But under here, it's going to be a little different. So it's going to be, you're going like this, so it's going to go this way. Loosening, but from underneath loosening, not from on top. So here we go, loosening, loosening. And these are usually very tight and stubborn, but we pre-loosen them a little bit because we know this. You'll, you'll realize this once you start. Get the other one. Then once they get loose enough to unfinger loosen, then you can just get it to where the jam nut's out and you have the line just hanging. I'm sure you'll see lots of dirty brake fluid. Because this is an original Brake Master cylinder, 40, 40 years old. And we're going to make a separate video for bleeding these things. We're just installing, removing and installing today. In our next video, we'll be showing you how to bleed the Brake Master cylinder as well as the Clutch Master cylinder we did last week. There's a lot of opinions out there about bleeding, but the most important part is that you bleed it enough to get all the old nasty stuff out. I mean, you hear people say, you got to do it from the front, got to do it from the back, got to do it from here, got to do it from there, got to go this way, got to go that way. Basically, you do it as many times as you're comfortable with the brake pedal and the fluid being nice and clean coming out. So whatever technique you use, as long as that's the result, your brake pedal is nice and firm, you brake good, you brake evenly, you're not, your car's not pulling to one side or the other, you're doing a good job. Okay, loosen the lines. And I just got to loosen the rest of the retaining nuts that hold the cylinder to the brake booster. And of course, these ones like to be a pain where you, it takes a long time to get them loose enough to take off with your fingers. So you have to sit there and use the wrench a bunch of times. And you can't fit a ratchet wrench in there because there's no room. So you got to do it the old method with the open end wrench. All right, finally got the uh, nuts loose, the brake lines loose. Now I'm going to pull the master cylinder straight out. But when you're doing this, watch very carefully for a rod that's between the master cylinder and the brake booster, because if you lose this rod, you're going to have no brakes. So very carefully, back up. 
There's the rod I was telling you about. Make sure that rod stays in and does not come out. That's the rod that pushes on. Well, you can't even see it on this one. It's blown. But you'll see it'll push on that. And there's your brake pedal. Because your brake pedal is pushing against this rod. And hence, actuating the uh, hydraulic power on this brake master. Therefore, powering your hydraulic powered brakes. It's all hydraulics. Pressure is key. Old nasty brake master cylinder. Gonna go right in the circular file, the garbage, along with its nasty reservoirs. History. Okay, I'm back. New brake master cylinder going in. Just as I showed you removing it, it's the same thing going in. Make sure you got your shaft there. If that shaft goes out, you're wasting your time with what you're doing now. And we're gonna show you how to bleed these things in another video, because this is pretty much how you're gonna prime your brake master cylinder. You got two bleed screws right here at the, at the cylinder. When we're bleeding them, we're just gonna have a person push the pedal in a few times, hold it, bleed, bleed. Get all the air out of there, you just primed it. Good to go. And then once you got this perfectly primed, then you move on to the other wheel cylinders. So here we go. Shaft in place, aligned just right. In it goes. And I'm just gonna start the bolts and the nuts on this because I gotta tighten these lines in their finger tight and they're not gonna cooperate if this thing's fully seated. So I have to have it kind of where I can move it. So I'm just gonna put the nuts and the washers on and go a few, few threads finger tight so then I can finger screw the lines in. Get the finger tightening started on the brake line fittings because they are very stubborn. If you don't get it right, you're gonna be cussing a bit. Maybe a lot, depending on your patience. Hence my name, Mad Matt. I have very little patience. Okay. I get mad and I destroy things. Except my nice cars. Okay, now, this brake master cylinder, I have the lines tight. I'm just finishing up tightening the uh, bolts from the brake master to the boost brake booster. Once those are tight, I'll just pre-fill it with fluid so it's ready to just sit there. And when we connect some other little things that were done, we'll show you how to bleed it in another video, along with the uh, clutch master cylinder. Since we're kind of doing these around the same time profile. Getting these bolts nice and tight. Mechanically speaking, this is pretty much the end of the task, besides the bleeding task. So now, the brake master cylinder is completely installed. There you have it. All right, we just got done showing you how to install a brake master cylinder. So hey, stay tuned. We'll be showing you how to bleed them. Bleed the master and the clutch master. So thanks for watching Budget Boosting. If you like us, like us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Look at our website, budgetboosting.com. And we got those new window stickers coming soon for Buy It Now auctions on eBay. 20 bucks, free shipping. So stay tuned. Keep watching our website for this new update. And remember, knowledge is power. It's horsepower. All right, sometimes these can be uh, really, really tough to get off. So I just drench them in a uh, liquid wrench. And I don't have the exact wrench size. It's a 16, I believe, which is one of those sizes that you never get in a set. You usually have to buy them separately just separately or on their sure. own so we're gonna use our handy pair of vice grips yeah and see how it does here I guess see if I can't get two hands under here because these things usually are really really on there <laughs> 